Ooh, I like this color, but it's a little bright for a casting. So what is the right makeup for a casting? Hi, I am Amy Chang Bradshaw, and in today's episode, we have makeup artist Vicky Ong from Arli to share with our trainees how to achieve the perfect makeup look for a casting. Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm a makeup artist and co-founder of Arli, an online platform to share beauty knowledge and inspiration. I've been a makeup artist for 10 years. I started out as a bridal makeup artist, and now I'm working mostly on commercial makeup for the past five years. The topics I'll be including is how to choose a foundation for yourself and how to nail their casting makeup look for casting interviews. So the next one is foundation. This is the key, uh, the most important part of your makeup. You guys now have to learn how to choose your foundation. There are many, many shades here. Uh, obviously, the smaller the number, right, means the lighter it is. So let's say this one ST01 means it's the lighter shade in the foundation range. But if like, let's say she's very fair, maybe you can try one or two on your hands. After you put some on your hands, put it on your jawline, blend it out, look in the mirror and see if it's too dark or too light on your skin tone. I'll be using the Glow Illuminizer with UV protection for Excel. If you have oily skin, try to avoid uh, glowy products. I picked out um, the foundation ST03 from Excel. I use my 13 Rushes brushes, foundation brush, to just pat it on the face, buff it out. For eye makeup, I'll be using the 13 Rushes Paddle Eye Shadow Brush. Go all over the eyelid. With this lightest color, the highlight color, we'll take a little bit and only dab it in the middle of the eye. Just for a more cleaner, open eye look, so it'll look brighter. Okay. I'm using the eyeliner Just gently from the center of the eye, draw it out. For eyebrows, fill up the ends first. With the eyebrow pencil, you can fill in uh, gaps in your brows. Apply here, avoid going too low. Uh, try not to do this because we don't want it to be here, we want it to be higher so it looks more fresh. So for casting makeup, we will avoid anything too pink, too red. Uh, this is a nice, fresh, rosy color. I think I'm ready for my next casting. On the next episode of Are You Ready to Be a Model, our trainees will go through an intensive 30-day catwalk training and would attend their very first assessment by the agency. Did they make it through? Watch the show to find out. <laughs>